Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, we are going to check out another custom ROM for Redmi Note 6 Pro and this time we have Pixel Experience ROM based on Android 11. So this is an unofficial ROM for Redmi Note 6 Pro and Pixel Experience is not building any official ROM for Redmi Note 6 Pro for a very long time. So let's go and check out how is this ROM. So first of all, the ROM is working just fine and if I try the finger pin, the fingerprint actually is slower side as i said it's an unofficial rom and also android 14 is not really that much stable right now as a custom rom so that's why there are a few things which are not doing well but this rom is actually a perfectly usable rom i, will, I have been trying this rom for a few days now it's working just fine there is no issue with the rom so first of all it, it came with all the gfs things and other things and but one thing it did not come with is that it did not come with any camera application this camera application is i have installed it and you can install it directly from play store too but this variant i'm using here is it's just a third party uh, camera which built for redmi note 6, 6 pro i just download it and install it and i put the link of this camera application in the description below so that you can download it from there and going with the ui it is purely stock so there is no additional features coming with this rom even the basic features which i really need for our rom is that uh tweaking the display a bit because we are getting skin retention problem on this kind of devices so those things are not available even slightest additional features are not available even three three finger gesture is also not available which i use easily used to take a screenshot but it is also not not available going with the notification panel so we don't have any kind of like individual Wi-Fi and mobile data toggling shortcut here as you can see nothing is here so it's not there and there is nothing going on with the notification panel everything is as Android 13 based ROM there is nothing new going with the other things like in the wallpaper and style section you will get few features if you go to the lock screen, lock screen option there are few clock wizard which you can put on your lock screen which is new with android 14 and it is here too and other than that there is nothing new and one thing is that i have to always mention is that the theme icon is still in beta i don't really know it's in beta on pixel devices or not but here it is better i have been seeing this when i in this, like from Android 12 when they showed this thing it's still in beta I don't really know so the UI is not really as uh, smooth I think evolution X is doing much better than this ROM in that case so going with the setting so let's go check about the phone section other things so as you can see Android 14 the security patch level is October 5 2023 and this is the latest variant uh, like version for this device and based on Android 14, and it's quite 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 early build actually. October last last month build, and Android 14. There is nothing much going on. There is a little bit uh, UI changes as you can see here. Da -da -da -da, nothing new. You go to system section. There are nothing here. Even if you go to gesture section, there is nothing new. Everything is purely stock. If you go to digital wellbeing, there are nothing new here too. But if you go to like uh, safety and emergency setting there are few things going on like our quick alerts uh, and emergency location services these things actually may be for pixel devices these things maybe will not work on this device but they are there and going with the security and privacy there are few things going on here as you can see we have health connect and we have extended unlock which does not have face unlock actually rather than that nothing going on and if you go back and if you go to accessibility there is nothing going on here you can use extra dim which is also available in stock room so nothing new and storage nothing new if you go to internet section it does connect with wi-fi perfectly fine bluetooth working perfectly fine but in hotspot section we don't have any kind of feature to share the data in 5 gigahertz band so it's also not there and uh, rather than that the device is purely stock there is there is no feature at all just the feature you are getting here is that you just you can show the battery percent percentage that's it there is nothing new 
so do you really want to install this rom or not it's it's completely on you i will put the link in the description below you can check it from there the safety net feature is passed so you can in install banking apps here it, it will work just perfectly fine and also you can install magic skew if you want the flashing the rom so most of you actually asked me uh, how to flash the rom so if you have an unlocked device and if you have installed twrp you can do it either directly from your pc or you can copy the file to your phone and flash it from twrp or you can put it in your pen drive and connect it as a otg device and flash it so let me show you how you can do that so before going to that side let's let's show you the camera is working just fine here and i have checked like everything uh, recording the video and everything is just perfectly fine there is no issue i haven't found any kind of heating issue here and everything seems to be fine with this rom just one thing i have to mention that uh, the device is not doing great is the ui is, it has uh, is like not really smooth that much i think evolution x is doing much better and it came with come with uh, camera application too so it's much better and let's go and show you how i installed rom mostly so let me put it into restart mode and i just go press the volume up button to directly to put put it into twrp so currently i don't have twrp on this device i have an, an evolution x evolution recovery actually not twrp so let me put it there so we are in evolution maybe evolution x recovery which i have installed few days back because i was installing an android 14 based evolution x rom which does not support twrp recovery flashing so that's why i had to install this so if you are in uh, twrp or wherever you are first of all you have to do a factory reset so go to factory reset section format data factory reset format cache partition and format system partition three of them you have to do it and if you have copied the file for, uh, in your device you can go to install update section in or uh, and you can like you can install this so install update and in a, it will show you here actually if you have a sd card or something but in my case i don't have any kind of sd card or any file here that's why it's not showing and usually what i do is that i go to install so i do it on adb site load method i don't really copy the file directly to my phone i just use adb command and plug them plug my phone and just install the rom directly from my pc so it's quite easy easy method but I don't really recommend people to do that if you don't don't know about that and also if you go to advanced section there's nothing much going on with this thing but as i said it is pretty much easy to install a rom you just wipe the device and install the rom and if you want to install gf you can do that after installing the rom and also magisk you can do that in a similar manner so that's all about uh, pixel experience rom based on android 14 for redmi note 6 pro Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.